Today we're here to talk about Irving, a place that's been under lots of construction in the past recent years and talk about the projects that have had an impact on this. Um, today we're going to talk about the projects that have been done so far and the ones that have been just completed. Um, there'll be a second part for the next, uh, for the future batch of projects uh, about this. Uh, so first off, I'd like to start uh, by saying the major highways that go through this area which are State Highway 114, uh, State Highway 183, and uh, Route 12. Oh, those are the ones we're going to talk about today. There's also I-20 and uh, 360, but no, uh, we're not talking about those in this video. Uh, but first of all, it's been a place that's been under lots of construction because uh, when it was first built, uh, its configuration wasn't uh, that big and it's ca and it caused lots of traffic as you know because Irving connects to the DFW airport you know, through, through the roadways featured that go through the area and, um, uh, and getting there becomes somewhat of a chore uh, whenever there's not enough capacity on these freeways in the area uh, so they start construction in the area and at first, the um, projects were only that major. They, uh, they improved some of uh, Texas 114 to kind of make space for expressing for a future project. Um, uh, they also improved um, uh, other things here and there, but there was never really any substantial impact until the Midtown Express project in 2018. Uh, so for the Midtown Express project, um, I was working on uh, uh, it turned State Highway 183 from a non-express lane uh, a freeway to an ex to one that was including the Texas lane system. Um, it has one express lane in each direction, uh, co along with three lanes in each direction now due to the construction, which started in 2013 and finished in 2018. They also added a uh, one express lane in each direction to Texas 114, but they kept everything else the same. They also um, uh, added a bit to Loop 12 here and there, and uh, and we're trying to work on that too to make it coordinate with the LBJ Express project because they're trying to connect that portion. Also, so you can kind of so you can have a, a link from the I thirty five E express lanes to to the uh, loop twelve to the one fourteen express lanes and the State Highway one eighty three express lanes. This project was an interim project, and it really wasn't meant to be permanent. Um. Because most construction nowadays is done in phases. You kind of see this all over, and we'll kind of talk about it more. Um, the I thirty five E project that goes on all the that go from north to six thirty five was a phase project. The first phase finished construction. I'm pretty sure around the same time in two thousand and eighteen. The second phase started construction in twenty twenty two, and is still currently under construction. Um, nowadays construction is done in phases and that's kind of the truth, that's kind of the painful truth because, uh, you know, one part just got finished but they have to start on the next part in uh, a few years, leaving most drivers confused as to why, but I guess it's just to split funding and to make sure that you don't go into every debt because they all try, because they try to complete the whole thing at once. But now that we've kind of talked and touched up on the history of these freeways, because they're very important to the area and they all connect to different various places. 183 goes through kind of like the, the heart of Irving and connects with 121, which is also currently under construction. Uh, that portion. 
and uh, 114 also connects at 121 but at the DFW airport area and uh, loop 12 loop 12 just goes on and loop 12 connects to spur 4 Four zero three, which can in turn connect to I twenty. We're not gonna talk about that. Um, it's time to talk about the main thing, the Irving interchange. That's what we're here for. The Diamond interchange. This interchange has been a bottleneck for a while. Well, the Midtown Express project somewhat fixed it up a bit and added a few express lanes. Remember, it was an interim project. It was never meant to be a uh, permanent. Which is why in 2020, just two years after construction finished, or like late 2020, construction once again picked up in this area to expand the interchange and to actually make it a whole lot better than it actually had uh, been. Which also involved improvements to Loop 12, uh, Texas 114, and uh, State Highway 183. And also spur 482 which also goes through this to form the diamond of this interchange because you know look at the map it's uh it's a very complex shape but this project added continuous lines of the area they also added on the also gave spur 482 a bridge over 114 And also reconstructed parts of Loop 12 from like Union Bower all the way to uh, I can't say that one road because I'll have it up here. Uh, um, but yeah, the improvements are massive, and the main part about this is that the construction project, the construction process was very speedy. It was actually very quick, and it didn't take as much time as intended because you know everyone knows certain projects take too long and certain projects don't take too long this was one of the projects that were actually done super quick and it was pretty much already open in May 2024 which is very quick considering the state of projects we are currently in and how long they usually take nowadays because construction is very drawn now and since construction is very drawn now that causes lots of problems in the air area because drivers are expecting things to get done but they don't ever actually get done soon enough to meet their expectations but this project was very fast uh, Weber did a very good effort they improved the interchange massively they finally finalized the uh, Texas 114 around the Texas Plaza area and while this project is meant to improve the area massively and to improve the interchange that's been a bottleneck for drivers for years and make it way better and way more accessible by making bridges, by making uh, new bridges for 114, uh, improve expanding the bridge uh, 183, And actually, may and actually bringing improvements to Loop 12 instead of making it just be on standby, because as you can know, in the Midtown Express project, they just added express lanes to it, and they didn't really do much else. But here, a bit actually happened, and uh, they also improved some intersections for it. It's going to bring it uh, closer to its. Uh, ultimate configuration but it's not close and it's not anywhere near its ultimate configuration yet because <laughs> and that's another video uh by this one is drawing to a close um i'll say um it was a very good project um it was very needed because this place is heavily congested if you've ever driven to it and uh i'm pretty sure it's a guy it's done but uh, I'm just here to say, construction isn't over yet. There's a lot, there's at least three more projects to work on in this area. And, uh, 
each wheeler will be upgraded to their final configuration soon. Uh, I know this is a pretty short video, it's not that long, and um, I'll try guide my research and uh, uh, make part two happen as quickly as possible. And then the next few videos are going to be about Forney. Uh, we're going to talk a bit about I 30 and I guess my frustration with that. And uh, I'll see y'all soon.